Well, I'm out in the shop with a unique situation. I have three different S10 transmissions. I'll go over the differences. The top two have a Muncie bolt pattern and can be made to bolt to a uh, cast iron bell or old school um, Muncie, bell, Muncie pattern bell that I have shown down there on the uh, right bottom. The one on the left bottom, um, that is a S10 transmission from 1995 and you'll notice it has a different bolt pattern for the case. That's a Ford bolt pattern. An adapter plate would be needed to bolt to that transmission, and then the adapter plate has holes in it that would bolt to the bell, so it can be done. The bottom one is a world-class 1995 S10 transmission. The top left is a 1993 world-class T5 transmission with a Muncie bolt pattern, and you'll see the bearing cup right here has a smooth edge and it says Timken on it. That smooth edge where it's sort of flush with the case indicates that it's a world class, whereas this one here has a little edge in there. You could stick a edge of a screwdriver in there and run it all the way around and dig some dirt out. Uh, that's a non-world class. If it has that cup, it's non-world class. The other differences is uh, on the Speedo connection. All of them have a shifter box in the same position, but the speedo connection on this 1986 is a cable speedometer. And that's nice if you have an old school car and you need to uh, just figure out the correct driven gear and drive gear and hook it up and you can make your speedometer on your dash work. This one here has a VSS. It's in the shadow a little bit here, but I'll show it. That VSS sender usually has a plastic housing on it. Um, this tail housing can be cut up and modified. There's a guy on eBay who does that. Uh, he charges like 200 and some dollars to do that plus shipping. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, this can be converted to make it work on a cable speedometer, but it requires heavy modification of that tail housing. Uh, the other thing is uh, this, this cable speedometer 1986 one came with a Stuart Warner ratio adapter that was plugged onto that thing. So all it did was change the ratio to the correct uh, numbers for that particular truck and tire size. Well, there you have it, three different S10 transmissions. Um, all can be somehow bolted up to that bell housing. The top two can bolt directly to it with some minor modifications. The bottom left needs an adapter plate. The bore, uh, center bore of that bell housing is four and 11 sixteenths inches and uh, it just uh, took this opportunity to show these three different transmissions since I had them all together.